Hello, I'm Dr. Maury Markman from uh, City of Hope, and uh, I'm delighted to have the opportunity to discuss with you a, a very interesting, highly provocative, but unfortunately, uh, topic that is uh, uh, going to only add to the complexities of decision making in oncology. The paper I'm referring to uh, is uh, entitled Influence of Family History on Penetrance of Hereditary Cancers in a Population Setting. Uh, the first author is um, Jackson, Lee Jackson, um, and uh, the paper is published in E, Clinical Medicine, 2023, 102-159. Uh, again, a very interesting paper. Uh, the investigators um, looked at uh, over 400,000 individuals who participated in the United Kingdom uh, Biobank. At the specific question that they looked at is uh, the relationship between uh, BRCA1 or BRCA2 mutations, and various variants, and the risk of cancer in other individuals uh, based upon whether one was dealing with uh, first degree family history uh, or second degree our later family history of actual cancer. And what the investigators found was, is that um, women with a pathologic BRCA1 or BRCA2 variant had an increased risk of uh, breast cancer that was higher if they had a first degree relative with a cancer than if they did not have a first degree relative with cancer um, documented obviously indicating that the closer that there is that relationship, a family relationship with cancer to someone is, is concerned about that risk, that greater that risk. This is important information. Obviously, it's important that that information is communicated uh, to the, the individual who's concerned about the risk. But it also adds an element of additional complexity to the conversations. Typically, one would give a range uh, when having the conversation, but now that range not only has to include what we know in general about the risk of BRCA mutations and subsequent cancer, but also the specific information related to that individual and their family history. Again, very important data. Uh, really helping to um, understand risk of cancer related to um, BRCA abnormalities, but also, again, adding to the uh, complexity of those conversations. For those of you who are interested in, in this question of genetic testing, interested in the question of the, the relationship of, of documented family history, um, counseling. I would encourage you to read this paper, which again appeared in eClinical Medicine. And I thank you for your attention.